Let me tell y'all something. I am here to inspire, but I'm also here to be all the way real, okay? All the way real, with a smile. And um, wherever possible, in a very kind manner. Um, but I will share something with you that happened today. So um, I was leaving a, a, a business and someone was coming in with something that was big and bulky. So I held the door open for the person. And um, I noticed like she wasn't giving eye contact and she kind of put her head down as she came in. And I waited to see if she'd say thank you. <laughs> she did not So I said, you're welcome. And I walked away. And then I just sat in my car and I was like, man, that's, these people are real rude out here, some people. And I don't know, like, Usually when things like that happen, because that's not the first time that's happened. Of course, we're on the planet. People do that, right? But for some reason today, I was particularly irked. And I just sat in my car and I, had, I was making calls. So I was, I was getting some things done. And in the, in the middle of me doing that, I saw the person come out and go to their truck. Well, their truck is parked right next to mine. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to say anything. I was like, don't say anything. That's the first thing that came to my mind was don't say anything. Because some people are crazy, right? And I was like, maybe, maybe she just, something's going on, or maybe I just shouldn't mention anything. But for some reason, I was so irked. I was so irked. I don't know why. Like I said, I usually don't get upset about stuff like that. I think it's just maybe some, it, it was probably something else that I was annoyed about. But what she did was like the, it was like the, the breaking point, I guess. Because I did go there to get something done. And because the for some reason when I went there to get it done it wasn't ready and it was something that I had made an appointment for so I had to leave and this was after me going back and forth to try to see if I could fix it and then I have to, I had basically have to go back so I don't know if that's what what was real the really the trigger or the fact that she just came across as really rude and even after I said you're welcome she didn't even like catch herself and be like oh yeah thank you nothing right so when I saw her walk into her truck I just leaned my head out the car Actually, I was standing outside the car because I saw her and I opened the door. Okay, I'm just be all the way transparent. I opened the door and pe and put my head out the car and I said, oh, it's okay. It's okay that you didn't say, you know, thank you when I held the door open for you when you were bringing in your package. And she was like, what? And I was like, and I repeated myself. I said, it's okay. Don't worry about it. And she was like, I'm so sorry. I didn't even realize I did that. I thought I said, thank you. And I said, oh yeah, no, no worries. It's okay. Don't worry about it. You know, that kind of like, yeah, yeah, sure. Whatever. And, um. By this time, my door was closed anyway. So she was talking across, you know, by her truck. And I was like, yeah, don't worry about it. No problem. And um, I just continued working on my phone. And then maybe like two minutes later, like she she came and like, you know, she stood a little bit ways off from my car window. And she said, I'm really sorry. And, um, and she seemed like she was sincere. I mean, I don't know. And that's really not for me to to determine if she was sorry but she went out of her way to get out her truck and come and apologize and so you know I I was receptive to it I said you know no worries I said um you know I've had days when my mind was somewhere else too and I'm sure that I've probably done the same thing you know like I said I get it because she she explained she said you know you know I just I'm new to the area and things are you know what she had told me and I said you know I said I hope that things get better for you and I said really and truly it's okay I said I'm sure that I'm I've done that as well and um and you know she said her goodbye I said goodbye and that was it so um the reason I'm sharing this is because I want to encourage those who feel like you're stressed or like you know there's some pressure that you may be under maybe you had something you had to get done it didn't work out a certain way um, I want to talk to the person who's like me, who did what I did, and to the person who, um, you know, who is whatever she's going through, the person who can re relate to why maybe she was not really present in the moment. We have to show each other grace. It's the same message um, that I want to share to both sides, okay? We have to show each other grace. Even if it's something that seems so blatantly obvious, we're not in the person's head, so we really don't know what they're thinking. We really don't know their motive. Um, and we really don't know what the trigger really might be. It may not even be directed at you. They might they might have, be going through something else that just has their mind so consumed. And because of your, your perspective in that moment, you know, in addition to whatever is stressing you or... Um, 
distracting you, you may receive it a certain way. You may perceive that the person means this or said, said this, and maybe they didn't say that or reacted this way, but it may have had nothing to do with you. So today, my encouragement to you is to show others grace and to be graceful and to have grace for yourself as well. Um, show yourself grace. That doesn't mean that you don't work toward um, bettering yourself, but you still need to show yourself grace, right? Because my first instinct after I, after that encounter was, yeah, maybe I was just like, you know, like I didn't yell at her. I didn't curse at her. I didn't give her any stink looks, but I was just very, I was verbal. I, I basically, I, exactly how I said it to you was how I said it to her. It was like sarcasm. I, I can be sarcastic, okay? I was like, oh, it's okay. You don't have to say, you don't have to say, um, you don't have to say thank you because I opened the door for you and I held it open for you to bring in your package. Like, that's not really necessary. I know that. And so my first instinct was to be like, well, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have said anything. But I have to show myself grace as well. And, you know, I didn't cuss her out. I did. I wasn't mean to her. And I think that's probably why she felt comfortable to come back and approach me because I wasn't acting like belligerent or, you know, acting like I was crazy. But even if you've been in a situation maybe where you did act crazy because maybe it hit, it hit a point, it was a trigger. We all have triggers. Um, you know, if you need to apologize to the person, apologize. Because even when she came over and apologized, I, I apologized to her too. I said, you know what? I said, I know I've been in situations like that too. So I'm sorry too. I told her that. And then we have to be humble enough to be able to, to apologize. Even if, even if it could be a misunderstanding where you had a reason to feel a certain way. But you see how what was really going on with her, what appears to have been going on with her, it wasn't even directed at me. So I felt it was only right to apologize to her too because she apparently has things that she's, she's going through too. I don't know what her story is. Only God knows. And, and I just said, and I said, you know what, by the way, God bless you. I hope things get better for you and I hope that, you, that things work out for you. You know, we have to be able to show ourselves grace but then be real with ourselves. If we have to make right with somebody, do it and do it swiftly. Don't waste time doing it. Don't let pride get in the way and be like, oh, well, you know, they really shouldn't have came at me like that. That's why I responded that way. That's why I bought. No, that, we don't need to book. We don't need, we do not need to book, okay? Um, there is so much going on in the world. We don't need to add to that type of energy. So when we do, because we are human, if and when we did do that or we do that, Let's be quick to apologize and to reflect, but also to show ourselves grace and to show others grace. I hope that this is something that, you know, if it can apply to your life, maybe even in this day, that you will be encouraged to do this, to show grace to others and to yourself. Love and blessings to y'all. This is your coach, your realtor, your author, Coach Leslie Wynn. Check out my ebook. It's called Love. God, Love, and Manifestation, A Homegirl's Guide. It's available in the link on my Facebook page bio as well as my Instagram bio. And it's also available through my Linktree link on Instagram at Coach Leslie Wynn. Have a great day. Love and blessings to all of you.